Hello and welcome to the 15th tutorial in the Cocos Code IDE series. In this part we're going to be looking at packaging and iOS IPA. This tutorial assumes you have set up and generated a project with native codes added. All of this was covered earlier in the series, but we will, we will create a new project quickly just to give you a refresher. So let's go ahead and open up Cocos Code IDE. We believe this is one of the features that makes the IDE Shine as it easily allows you to create an iOS package which can be uploaded to the Apple App Store. So what we're going to do is just do File, New, Cocos JavaScript Project. I'm just going to call this Test. And you want to add your native codes because these this is what is needed when uploading into the App Store. This has to be the same as the provisioning profiles that you create on iTunes Connect. If you want more information about that, have a look at the Apple API guide or the, the Apple guide on their website. So I'm just gonna leave this as default. I'm happy with it as it is. Actually no, I'm gonna change it to com.sonosystems.test and I wanna change it for this as well. You definitely need native codes. If your project hasn't been generated generated with native codes, don't worry, you'll get prompted later on do, during this process if you haven't added them. So let's just click finish, let the project generate. And now what you want to do, there's two ways to generate an IPA. To for publishing you can either go to package IPA or right click and Cocos tools, actually you might even be able to do from the files, but yeah, there's at least two ways then. Package to IPA for iOS, so you can add native codes, but we've already sorted that out. Uh, obviously I just want to select my distribution profile, which is this right here. Select the target, which is iOS, clean before build, you can do that if you want it, but I'm all good. And obviously you can click on this link, this takes you to the Apple website show you how to distribute your app on the App Store. You click Generate. Let's let this uh, do its work and then after a little while you'll have your application ready to upload. As you won't be doing this on a regular basis, you'll generally just be packaging it at the end or maybe when you're trying to send it to somebody for testing, this uh, long wait isn't too much of an issue because it's not like you've got to wait this long every time you try and run your application, so it's relatively minor. But then again, I still would, <laughs> wouldn't mind it being faster.
Okay, there we go. We have Bill succeeded. The package has been saved to this location, basically where my project is. You can either navigate it manually or navigate to the directory manually or just click this button, open package location. And we have our application which are ready to submit to the App Store. It's that simple. You just have to wait a little while while it's packaging. It's really that simple to package an iOS IPA. In the next tutorial, we will cover packaging an Android APK. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video, just directly message us via YouTube. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.